Hey, you folks, it's Samantha once again. And yeah, if, if people notice, I'm doing a lot of reviews in one day. It's why I'm wearing the same shirt. I haven't uploaded any of them, but I just had the day off and uh, wanted to get some reviews done for ahead of time. But this is a film that I've heard quite a few good things about called It Follows. A horror film that came out this year, directed by David Robert Mitchell, who I thought did a pretty good job. Stars a girl named Maika Maika Monroe. Not sure how to pronounce her name. She was in the, another film called The Guest. And I thought this was a decent film. I do have problems with the film, so I don't think it's one of the best horror films in recent years or such, but I thought it was a decent film. There's a lot of stuff I liked, but there's stuff I didn't care for as well. I like the premise. Think of it as a walking, killing STD. Because you have this teenager, goes out with this boy, they have sex, then he knocks her out, ties her to a chair, and tells her that this thing, I got this curse, I now gave it to you via sex, it's going to follow you, you're the only one that's going to be able to see it. It can look like anyone, either your family or a stranger. And just pass it off to someone else. Just have sex with someone else, pass it off like I just did to you. Interesting premise. I like the premise. The score is fantastic by Disaster Piece, I believe. Love the score. Excellent score. Definitely my favorite part of the film. The acting is not that bad at all. I mean, the lead girl, she did fine. You have this nerdy guy who has a crush on the lead girl. And then you have some other friends and lead girl's sister. They all did fine in their acting. I thought the film had some good mood and direction. I mean, the opening. The, maybe think of an old school movie. And what I mean by that is, for example, the opening, a girl runs out. And then the camera pans it does throughout the film there's sometimes where it does a 360 pan which you don't see that in a lot of new movies nowadays or there's sure, certain shots that it lingers or a woman like at the beginning after that woman runs away she's given in a sort of I love you note or voice pretty much given a message that I love you mom and dad then it cuts and then you see that the woman's dead I like certain editing techniques that like you have a guy walking, see the back of his head, and then you see him walking, but then it cuts to different locations, or so it shows that he went from A to B. That's what I mean. There's some decent mood. Um, even I know some people mentioned the weird thing with the technology, like they have actual, you know, today technology, but at the same time they're you know, watching black and white old. 30s or 50s movies and so on and so forth. <clears throat> like it has some good directing choices where certain shots linger or pans or it takes its time with it. Kind of like something like John Carpenter would do with his camera work. Like it has a certain thing which I thought that was cool. No quick cuts, quick edits. Um, it has some really decent moments as well. For example, there's a scene on a beach where, the, of course, she's the only one that sees it, but her friends, I like that her friends, for the most part, are supportive. They're not all, usually a lot of movies, they're just dicks. But I like that these friends are not just dicks. They're, even though they're not sure at first, they're still supportive. So that was kind of refreshing to see. But then, like, her hair gets pulled at the beach, and people see it. Because, it, imagine if it's an invisible when I say that she's the only one that can see it. Because we just, as the audience, see her hair getting pulled up. The nerdy guy gets a chair, Bracey gets thrown back. They run out, and she's the only one that sees the thing and gets a gun shooting at it. I thought that was a decent sequence. There's another one in, that you see in the trailer in the hallway where she sees the thing looking like one. She gets scared. They open the door. Oh, it's a friend. But then the seven foot tall guy walks up behind her and she's the only one that sees it. 
or this ending sequence in a swimming pool which is throwing stuff in the pool to try to electrocute her <clears throat> I thought it was decent sequences that were maybe a little bit eerie or certain shots a little bit eerie <clears throat> So all this stuff that I said it made me thought think it was decent, but the problems I have with the film, first off, this creature, this it, seems like a dumbass. Seems like one of the biggest dumbasses that I've seen of late. Why do I say that? Okay, when the guy, when the lead girl takes out this guy out, and the guy you get idea something's wrong because. They're playing this game, and the guy goes, oh, that girl in a yellow dress. And she's like, who? And he's like, you don't see that? Which leads it to later. <clears throat> so, okay, you get this idea that this thing can look like anybody. Your friends, your family. For some reason, this creature, I guess, pertain to this girl. It's the worst fucking spy. It's the worst fuck. It doesn't know the word inconspicuous. Like, it does a bad job. I mean, is it just. Does it not want to kill this girl and just wants to completely fuck with her all the time? Because anytime this girl sees this creature, it's always something extremely weird. And. Oh, let me guess. That's the creature, right? For example, the, when she gets infected and the guy has her in the wheelchair and shows her to prove her something's coming, what does the girl see? A completely naked chick up and down and center. How is that going to fool anybody? Why, even if I looked out the window I saw a completely naked chick, first I'd go, oh wow, that's nice. Then I'd be like, oh shit, this girl's crazy, I'm going to run away. Then another time, it looks like, this is when the girl's at school, it looks like an old woman in a hospital gown. Very out of place. And another, when she's at her home, a girl who has like a tit hanging out and is pissing her pants or pissing her shorts. Hmm, I wonder if that's the creature. Another time, a seven foot tall guy. Another time, it's just a person naked standing on a fucking rooftop. I'm like, another time when on the beach when it's run away, it turns into her friend, but it's the friend who is with her as they're running. She's not going to be fooled. So I'm like, this, you could have really done a great job with paranoia, suspense, a la John Carpenter's The Thing. It didn't do that because... Anytime the film wants us to think, oh, maybe this is the thing, I'm going, no, that's not the creature because it looks normal. That person looks normal. So, anytime this girl sees it, it looks fucked up. And you pretty much be right. For the most part, it looks fucked up. I'm like, is this thing just a dumbass? Does it not have any brain cells? Or is it just so bored? It's like, fuck it. Uh, let me look naked. Let me look, I mean, that's what I mean, like, when another guy gets infected, it does a smart thing. It makes it look like the guy's mom. I mean, you see a little titty, but okay, she's awake at night. It looks like the guy's mom. And another one, the, the guy who infected her, he just saw a girl in a yellow dress. But anytime with this lead girl... It's a girl, it's a woman who's naked, or a girl pissing herself, or an old woman in a hospital gown in a school. I'm like, wow, this really takes away the paranoia. I'm like, yeah, that's a creature. I would have thought one of these times it would be like, you think it's a weird, you think it's a creature, but you find out it's not. Oh, this guy is just crazy, or this guy is a, yeah, I know this person's naked, but they were in a mental asylum, or. Any, no, any time this girl saw it, it was weird. It was fucked up weird. Or it was her dead dad at the swimming pool. Or this thing was just a shitty job. I'm like, nah, this person looks too normal. That's not the creature. Most of the time, you'd be right. And you have a premise where it could look like anybody and anything. It could j just a really missed opportunity for paranoia when... Oh, that's, it's naked on top of a rooftop. Why? 
I don't know why it's on the roof. I just to have sort of an eerie shot, but this thing this thing does a shitty job. Also, characters do stuff that I'm like, what? For example, this girl, the lead. After the seven foot tall guy, and she's the only one who sees it, she runs off, right? For a little bit. She drives for a little bit. And then she stops at a playground. And sits on a swing. And starts swinging. You have some creature coming after you. And you, you drove like for a little bit. And you stop at a playground to swing? Why? What the fuck? That's why I'm, I'm going like, what the fuck? Or the lead and her friends find the guy that infected her, gave her this. Now, you're expecting this lead to yell at the guy? Like, you motherfucker, you son of a bitch, you gave me this? There, think about it. If, if you were given, let's say you're a woman and a guy gave you an STD, you'd be like, you motherfucker, you gave me this, you piece of shit. Does she do this? No, she doesn't even get mad. Doesn't even have a frown, like, motherfucker. Does her friend say, you motherfucker, go beat the shit out of you? No. They sit in a fucking circle, listen to the guy talk, and that's it. I'm like, that's it? This guy gave you this fucking thing. Pretty much killed your ass. And the friends are not going to, if I was a friend, I'd be like, hey, kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the nuts. Kick him in the nuts a third time for a trifecta. Nothing. But that makes sense to me. And there's this one scene I was confused about. Because first off, the girl drives away during the scene. <clears throat> I forget, was it this scene or another scene where there's one bit where she drives and then she gets on the hood of her car and sleeps on the hood of her car. And it was weird. I posted this on Facebook and someone even mentioned that scene. I didn't mention it on my Facebook post, but someone even mentioned it. I'm like, yeah, that's right. The girl just sleeps on the hood of her car. Not inside the car. So the thing would actually have to maybe knock on the door or the window or... Tch -tch. No, she sleeps on the hood of the car for some reason. But there's a scene where she looks at a couple people on a boat far away. Then she gets mostly undressed. She starts walking in the water, and then it cuts away. Are we supposed to think that maybe she... What? She... Did she have sex with one of them? But then even then, they don't do anything with it, because the next scene is the nerdy guy going, well, there's this one guy who you let have sex with you in the hospital. Why didn't you let me do it? I could do it for you. Or you could pass it off again. And she's like, no, I did it once. I'm never doing it again. You never, those guys in the boats, you never hear from them again. It's never brought up again. It's almost like a scene that could have been in the beginning of the film, at the end of the film, three minutes, three minutes later, three minutes before, 50 minutes before, 50 minutes after. There was a scene that looked like a deleted scene that was leading to something that was left in there. What the fuck was the point of that scene? It just seemed like a pointless scene. I mean, uh, I mean, I wasn't scared by the film. I th I thought it was a decent film because I liked the mood, direction. I loved the score. The acting was not that bad. So it was a decent film to watch because I liked the premise. I liked the idea. I mean, what if you do something, sex, and now you're doomed forever, pretty much? Because even if it kills, it goes back. So... If it kills the lead girl, it'll go back to the guy that gave it to her, and so on and so forth. So you forever be doomed and forever be worried. But I thought it could have done a lot better with the paranoia, because anytime you saw this creature, it looks fucked up. There's a titty there, or it's fully naked, or staying on top of a fucking rooftop, or it's pissing its pants, or it's all... I'm like, wow, this thing, once again, it doesn't know the word inconspicuous. 
kind of defeats the purpose of the paranoia when you're saying it could look like anybody and anything. No, it just looks like someone who's fucked up. That's if it's fucked up or I'm like, does this thing have brain power or something? I'm like, I didn't, and then certain characters doing stuff. I'm like, why did the person do that? Why did it do that? Why did it do that? So I don't hate the film. Like I said, the score, the boo direction, old school, slow camera work and pans and 360s. The acting is not the problem. Uh, I like the initial premise. There's some decent moments, but yeah, the, the creature itself and some dumb character stuff. That I'm like, why? I thought the film was okay. I thought it was a decent film. I don't love the film, but I thought it was a decent film. That's just my opinion. But either way, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.